Hey everyone, just Michelle and Adrian today. Little man is Dumb. off somewhere. You might hear his disembodied voice at some point when he decides to show he up. He has a body. <laughs> just want to clarify that. <laughs> the kid is still in one piece. He is fine. <laughs> But he wasn't really interested in what we have to talk about today. So we have been busy and we built something that hopefully you'll find useful for when you're sitting in the room with the DVC rep. For those of you who are in the process of joining DVC, what, why, don't, why don't you explain it? You did most of the work. Okay. You're the programmer. Uh, she's the artist. So we made a web app. Uh, basically, uh, we remember the time that we were sitting with the DVC rep and they were going through the whole sales pitch and then they tell you, how many points do you think you might be interested in? We said, I don't know. Because uh, the truth of the matter is when you're getting your vacations and you're, you're planning things, you don't realize that uh, the dates for all the seasons are all sp strategically spaced out so that no matter what, you probably won't have a vacation within a season. It'll probably be a bit of one season and a bit of another. So all the point charts they give you are kind of difficult to, uh, they give you a, a kind of sense of what your points buy you, but they don't really tell you what exactly you can get. So what we decided to do was build a simple little web tool that lets you calculate, given the number of points and how many nights you want to spend at uh, DVC, on all the resorts, it tells you basically what's the most bang for your buck. What's the longest vacation that you can spend if you're the most economic? Would you stop it? <laughs> that is very creepy. Oh, you don't like it. No, I don't. You don't like it. <laughs> you're doing I, it wrong. I just had to wait for you to not pay attention. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> so anyways, um, we're going to go through in a little bit and show you how the website works. But we made it sure that it even works on mobile devices so that, you know, just in case you're in that room and you and you want to come up, you know, and you want to kind of figure out, you know, what sounds right. For us, we guesstimated that 100 points sounded about right. And thankfully, so far, that seems to be working for us. But, you know, for some of you, maybe you want to go down to 75 points and you really want to see what kind of vacations will that give you. Well, now you have a tool that will actually tell you for each day of the year what you can actually get. Or, you know, if you have a larger family or you plan to be bringing people whenever you take your DVC vacations and you need to see how many points you need for, you know, a party of eight people, this will hopefully help you. And again, this is a cheapskate tool right now. Um, <laughs> basically, it just assumes that it, it tries to get you the most bang for your buck. Um, and we can talk more a little bit about how that works in a minute. All right. All right, greetings and welcome. So I'm going to show you how to use the website, uh, our, cal our point calculator on the Edutaining Adventures website. So the first thing you do is go to my wife's website and then go over here um, and click on Disney and then go to the points calculator. And ta-da! Didn't she do a great job? The castle's pretty. All right. So um, there's not that many questions you need to answer. Basically, uh, start and end date, when would you be willing to start going on vacations and what is the potential last day of that vacation? So you can do it over a span of months. It will calculate for you all the potential vacations between that span. Uh, here, I'm just gonna do it for my family. So uh, there's three of us, we bought 100 points. And when I was originally there talking to the DVC rep, I was interested in spending at least five nights a year at a resort. I thought that was about the right number. So that's what I did. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press calculate. And now we can actually see all the potential vacations that we would have where I would be able to spend a minimum of five nights. So here you see the result page so basically it will only show you those resorts where you can stay at least five nights and that's just because of again what I specified and um, there's a list of all the resorts and you'll see a little castle if it's on a Disney resort and then uh, you'll see the little beach if it's not on one of the amusement parks so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge that's our favorite because we like staring at animal butts and here we go I'm gonna click on it and what it does is is for each day it tells you if you start the vacation on that day here's how many nights you could spend and it tries to be as economical as possible so here uh, it's saying that if I started a vacation on February 10th I would actually be able to spend nine nights if I stayed in the deluxe uh, studio value and I would spend 99 points doing that so uh, basically for the entire span anytime I can any date where I can spend at least five days or more 
And again, that's just because I put five. You can put, you know, one or two if you want to get a lot of results. And it's showing you the maximum vacation. And it highlights, you know, in this clump here, you know, this is the most you could spend. So nine days is the most that you could spend with 100 points in this time period. So that's why it's highlighted. All right. So in addition to showing you when you should, could start your vacation, um, we also calculate annual dues for you. So this is just a good reminder that every time you buy a point, you have to pay a, a, a maintenance fee per year. And as we get more data, as we add more charts, this is going to track the point cost over time. And in addition, if you're just curious to see the point chart, I also put it over here. So for each of the seasons, you can see up here, you can see for each of the room types, how much, it, you know, how many people that room can legally hold, and then how much it costs for uh, on weekdays and then weekends. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, you can see it for all the resorts at once, and you can kind of get a quick view of you know, what, what are good resorts, uh, which ones you can get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, you know, Bay Lake Towers is very pretty, but obviously look here, you can only spend five nights. Or if you're willing to be on a bus for half an hour, the Animal Kingdom is great. So what he wants to, to ask is if you'll go and test it out, let us know what you think, especially long-term members. They have covered everything or are there other questions we should be answering with the tool does it break he he assures me his programs don't break <laughs> okay so it's a work in progress we're trying very hard to make something useful something that we want to use uh, and if it helps you we, we really hope it does uh, please leave us comments or feedback or any recommendations uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Wow, you got really serious. There. Are you are you afraid you they're not again? gonna like your program? <laughs> <laughs> it's like please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't well, break. Well no, if they break it, they can tell us and we can well you can fix it. I don't How about this? If it breaks, stop it. <laughs> stop it. I worked very hard on it. Alright. Okay. That is it for this week and so be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the button in the corner for more information and something else. And blah blah blah. That's what you think your child sounds like. Yep. <laughs> okay. Small. Yeah, do all those things. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Please share. Do, do, yeah, what whatever the kid usually says. We're out. <laughs>